Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the DHCP client service on your Windows computer is giving you an access denied error. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial about how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just lock on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry editor, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. And in order to do that, it's quite simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file, tap up at the top left, left click on export. For file name, usually the date in which you're making the backup is usually a smart choice. And then export range should be selected to all and then just click on save and if you ever needed to import it back in just would do file import and navigate it over to the file so pretty straightforward process and once you've done that now you want to go ahead and expand the HK local machine folder so either double click on it or left click on little arrow next to it to expand the drop down view do the same thing for the system folder now same thing for current control set do the same thing for services now you want to go locate the DHCP service. Expand that one as well. And now there should be a folder right underneath that says configurations. You want to go ahead and right click on that folder or key, whatever you want to call it, and left click on permissions. So again we just went underneath permissions for this configurations folder here. Now that you are inside of this area, you want to go underneath the groups or whatever names are showing up here and select whichever one you want to allow full control for. So if you see your username in here for like users or administrators, you want to go select allow. So if you want all users, just do full control. So pretty straightforward process on that. So you should do apply and OK to save a change. If you didn't find your username or class in here, you would just left on the add button here and then you just enter in the name of the user account that you're looking to get permissions to. So I know my account is just MD Tech. And then you want to left click on check names. It will give you the official name of the object here. So it gives you some random letters and text in front of it. So again, you want to make sure you check the name just to allow it to put it in a computer formatted code that it can understand. And left click on OK. So you see my user account, I've just given myself its own username here and I'm going to allow full control for that and then I'll left click on apply and OK. So once that's done just close out of the registry editor. Would suggest now at this point opening up the start menu type in services. Best match should go back with services above desktop app. Go ahead and right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. You want to look for the DHCP client service right here, double click on it. You want to make sure startup type is set to automatic and then service status is running so if it's stopped click on the start button and if startup type is manual or something you want to select automatic. Left one apply and OK. Restart your computer and that should be about it. So as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.